Hello, uh, my name is Adrian, and today I'd like to demonstrate uh, the Lime SDR Mini as a portable transceiver in a combination uh, with a mobile phone. So uh, here we have a Lime SDR Mini, um, which uh, is uh, connected uh, to my mobile phone and a portable battery pack uh, which uh, can pr uh, supply uh, power to the Lime SDR Mini and uh, to an external um, power amplifier uh, for a couple of days. Uh, so uh, the mobile phone is running uh, Q Radio Link, um, the applica um, a transceiver application um, uh, designed for Linux which um, also works uh, on Android phones. And uh, here is, um, for starters, here is the wide FM uh, receiving mode. And um, let me uh, see if I can find out. Uh, so, as you can see, this, uh, this is a, this is a broadcast uh, FM uh, radio station. And if I try to find uh, some other uh, broadcast uh, station, uh, we might be able to uh, to listen to some uh, uh, wide FM broadcast uh, using the Lime SDR Mini. As you can see, the signal is not very strong. Uh, however, if I move around the, the antenna, possibly I get a better signal. So, yeah, so uh, this is the white FM uh, receiving mode. And um, now let's try to uh, receive uh, something different. Uh, an amateur radio digital transmission. Uh, on a different uh, frequency and a different mode, a codec 2 mode. Uh, for this I'm going to switch the frequency to the amateur radio band and um, let's try and see if we can find the signal here. As you can see there is a signal there but it's not very strong so I'll probably have to uh, tune into it uh, and try to decode it. Um, the signal appears to be a B BPSK transmission and uh, as you can see the BPSK constellation being received uh, by the Lime SDR and um, yeah, so this is the codec 2 uh, mode being received. Okay, so um, uh, let's try to switch uh, the receiving mode uh, from BPSK and try um, Instead of the codec 2 mode, let's try the opus mode. And for that, I'm going to have to, to see if I can find the opus transmission. So there you go. We have the. This is a. QPSK signal. As you can see, a very nice clean constellation being received by the Lime SDR. And uh, uh, it's uh, it's actually yeah, it's a it's a very nice clean constellation, a very good signal. And um, it's uh, currently using the Opus uh, codec mode. So this is a recording. I, I have this recording of myself earlier, and I'm currently playing it uh, using my laptop. 
and receiving it with the uh, our little lime SDR here. And it seems to work great actually. Uh, no problem. So, uh, what else can we try? Let's try to receive uh, some narrow FM mode. Um, this is an analog mode. As you can see, it's uh, the signal is actually a bit. Uh, uh, different this time. It's uh, no longer a. Um, uh, it's uh, no longer. Um, okay. So this is the FM transmission. A narrow FM transmission. Of course, uh, we can have uh, uh, our little squelch uh, volume here, so we don't have to listen to all this noise. Uh, just push the squelch higher, and then we get rid of uh, all this uh, uh, receive noise, uh, so we don't have to listen to it. Okay, so let's try uh, another narrow band FM reception. And for so change, we can also try uh, you can also try the SSB mode, uh, which uh, So, as you can see, this is the Opus mode, uh, which is uh, is a bit of a higher quality mode. And uh, after some having some issues on the receive side with the line SDR, it actually turned out that it was a calibration problem that uh, got solved uh, on the receive. Uh, so now I'm um, continuing to work on the trans, uh, transmit side so that uh, uh, we can uh, we can uh, also transmit uh, without uh, having uh, uh, phase issues uh, on the digital side. Uh, but anyway, um, let's uh, let's see if um, uh, it should register the start and end of the of the digital transmission. As you can see, we, uh, we have also messages which uh, get passed around when I'm uh, starting and ending the transmission on the other side. Uh, okay, uh, for a change, uh, let's try to uh, transmit now uh, using the Lime SDR instead of uh, instead of receiving. 
So um, let's try the uh, MSDR transmission. And I'm going to briefly send uh, my uh, call sign and uh, see if it registers uh, on the other computer. So uh, testing, testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. And uh, this is uh, the uh, testing of the Opus mode. Uh, so, as you can see, the Lime SDR is also a capable transmitter. And when paired with the mobile phone, it is uh, quite portable, I would say. So, it's uh, it's uh, very good uh, to pack around and, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, use it as a, uh, as a small uh, transceiver for uh, portable operations. Uh, of course, uh, you would require an external amplifier uh, if you desire to uh, perhaps uh, have a little more power, but otherwise it is uh, it is the perfect companion for uh, a mobile phone and uh, Q Radio Link. Uh, so this is uh, pretty much it for today. Uh, thank you very much.